Oh my god. He got out. Did he glitch through the roof? Oh my god. teleport to. Fuck. Knocked him clean out of the trap. Oh my god, not again! Fucking teleporting crab. Hello, this is Croton. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Ark Survival Evolved here on my solo aberration. Uh, if you've seen my last two crab taming traps on the back of a pariser, uh, apparently they don't work on official, and I was thinking, man, that sucks, I'm not going to be able to do anything to help those guys out over there, but I did a little thinking and a little, uh, looking around, and I came up with a design that will work on official. Uh, I'll tell you what, man, I feel for you guys on official. I've been, <laughs> I've been hitting rocks with this dodic who was, I think he was just level 100 and leveling him up. Man, it's terrible. I mean, the this level 33 crab I taped, uh, just everything is, uh, I don't know how you guys do it, but hopefully this will make things a little easier for you. Uh, yeah, of course my Pariser is not official. I spawned his ass in. But here's what we need. This is the whole thing right here. One foundation, two ceilings, 14 walls, four giant stone hatch frames, which you can make in a smithy. I believe it's level 30 to unlock those. And a catapult and, of course, boulders to knock it out and all that business. But before we get started on that, we are going to lower the foundation on the Pariser. And it's just the typical, well, and also we're going to uh, make it go slightly different direction. So, I'm gonna, let's see, I'm gonna stop talking for a second, since I use push to talk, and my push to talk interferes with me actually playing the game. So, once I get this lined up, I'll bring you back. Alright, okay, we're back, and this is what we're shooting for. We want it to angle sideways, actually I might need a little little rock to the right there. Doesn't have to be perfect, but you know, I, I try to get it as close as I can. You want it overhanging just a little bit, but we're not actually going to place this. We're going to drop a pillar like that. And then we're going to lower. Now, some guys, I see it, they do it with just pillars. Every time I do that, it seems like it's not going down any. So here's what I do. I put a foundation next to a pillar put a destroy the one pillar put the uh, pillar in the foundation destroy that foundation and just keep repeating this process See, I think, yeah, I think that's about as low as we want to go. Oh man, I did not get it very straight, did I? <laughs> well, it'll work either way, but yeah, look how, oh, uh, you know what, I bet it was when the, I dropped the pillar when the Pariser was rocking up and down and it kind of twisted it, but that'll work. 
Okay, so let's get rid of this stuff. Because, I mean, I'm, I leveled my, myself up to 100, gave myself 350 weight. I mean, maybe I went crazy in the health and movement speed, but, man, I'm so used to having, like, 600 weight. Actually, I need one more. I guess I still have it. Need one more found thatch foundation. I don't know if you can place a stone on top of this thatch one. Nope. So we'll put a thatch one there. Get rid of that one. Put our stone one in. this one. Let's uh, slide these down here. Alrighty. Ceiling there. Ceiling there. We want... Uh, did I bring the hatch frames? No, I didn't. That's our... Oh, you know what? I just forgot. I'm gonna need two more walls. And then we can destroy this wall. A wall there. Get rid of this one. And then let's go down to the bottom. Yeah, you see my, uh, my baller uh, platform here. It's just, that's pretty self-explanatory. So we want to go five walls down off the back. real quick. And I'm going to grab our hatch frames. Alright, so now we're going to put these walls over here. put a hatch frame on top of them. Actually, that's where we want it, right there. Perfect. Okay, now we want a hatch frame right here. Which, this, man, this is so hard to there's some weird snap points going on here. I want it to... Oh, I had it. I want it to be out there in the middle. Not over like this one. There. Perfect. Okay. Now we're going to take this guy. Whoa! I must have been in K mode when I got on. We're going to walk down the ramp. Things lower now. I'm making myself dizzy over here. Okay, and the next hatch frame goes two down. Right there. And then uh, let me get the, this guy turned around a little.
and our next hatch frame goes two down from there which is right there but I'm standing in it uh, they come from the side there we go there we go and this is my plan now, I have tested it and it does work but I wasn't sure completely the first time I built it the crab jumped out the top and then I added I, I did have ceilings going over the top but uh, well not with this shape originally it was a flat wall and I like this uh, stream th this is actually easier to trap the crabs with a point going to the back instead of a straight bar and uh, so as far as I know that top piece will keep the crab in I probably um, I probably could lower it one wall it might be a little better if you run into a problem with the crab getting out then uh, chop one wall off the top I, that should work okay let's get our catapult I have some, I believe I have some boulders on here still, yep, and stuff to make more. Okay, placing the catapult is kind of tricky uh, because of that hatch frame. <laughs> I, You know, I tried to run some ceilings off the back, like go out one more ceiling and then over, but it would not work and the only I in fact I don't believe that you can put a wall up here oh well this works Okay, so we basically want to put this right on, right underneath the corner of that hatch frame. That should work. Actually, you know, I'm going to try to go back a little bit. Maybe put those two feet right on the edge of that foundation. If it don't work, I can always redo it. Let's see here point it down here. I wish I could make it go back farther. I guess I could go back a little. Well, I don't know. I don't want to run into that thing. Alright, this works. Put those boulders on. start cooking more. I'm so used to knocking out the uh, level 300 crabs. Uh, these, my settings here are I think closer to official and I haven't seen any real high levels yet. But that's about it. Let's take a look. There is our beautiful trap. So, do I have some kibble? Yeah, I do. Turtle kibble. Let's go get us a crab. Okay, there's a crab. You know, I did, I did say I was running on basically official. I, I did add one mod. <laughs> that is the omnicular god. I cannot stand the uh, regular spyglass. Uh, Alright, 44. That'll work. Let's see if we can get him to chase us out of the water because there are so many freaking piranhas in here. You know, actually, I'm going to gamma up because it's getting dark. I'm going to 
I'll try to get him over on this little dry spot in front of me. Don't want to get too far ahead. Let him get a hit, everyone. To uh, feel like he's still in control. Buddy. I don't think you are. Well, you're kinda in. I'm gonna get him out a little farther. And he already lost interest. Okay, let's do it again. I think I need to get him going, go uphill a little and back into him. There we go. Still not in. Walk off, buddy. There you go. Man, you know, it, <laughs> this works so much better the first time. Still ain't in. Okay, now he's in. I think it's more my driving skill than anything else. All right, and here we have it. Help yourself, buddy. Get out. You can't do it. Oh. Felt that, didn't you? Uh, I should probably slow down and wait till he's perfect. Oh my god. He got out. Okay, well, we're gonna leave him here. have to come up with a better design. I have an idea and I'm gonna go try it out and if it works I'll bring you right back. Alright, that should do it. Come on. Really? Okay, welcome back. And uh, as you saw, the crab got out. I have a new idea that might work. Let's see. I want to put a... Couple walls up there. Throw a couple stone walls under them. Well, you just cannot pick a side, can you? Can we make a match? Oh, that one did. That one did with no trouble. Okay, now we gotta destroy the two thatch walls on top. <laughs> That's gonna be fun. You know, actually. Instead of walls, yeah, I'm going to come right back when I know what I'm talking about. Okay, we're back, and I think I figured out how to fix this. You know, I wish I could make everything out of stone, but there are some limits. And I don't think he'll actually be able to hit these. 
what we're going to do is we're going to put a ceiling up here in the back. And then we're going to put a couple ramps off of that ceiling. There we go. That should keep him in. Let's take a wide look out. Oh yeah. Perfect. Okay, let's do it again. And this time not screw it up. Oh, rip. Looks like our crab got in a fight with a roll rat and was not very successful. Uh, well, I'm going to run around, and when I find a new crab to try it out with, I will bring you right back. Okay, I found a... There, there was nothing up on the lake. I decided to come down here on the river, and there's a 100 right there. So we're going to go for that. Come on, get back here away from the spinos and sarcos and all that business. Uh, that's a nice good flat spot here too. Let's see if I can lure him over. Yep. Throw your hands up in the air. Oh shoot, he just... Oh man, that's how I should do it. Just walk him right in and <laughs> spin around and he's caught. Okay, let's see if we can do, take care of some business. trying to jump out, isn't he? I don't know if any of those are good hit. Too high. Man, talk about glitchy. He just bounces all around. Big fan of how bloody he is. Check his torpor real quick. Well, we had a couple good hits. Man, he's got some sh crappy health. We're gonna have to let him heal up a little. Yeah, you definitely need a roof on this trap. He's just bouncing around up at the top, isn't he? I don't know if I'm going to be able to feed him or not. Well, there is a fish down there if, if he'd eat it. Did he glitch through the roof? God. teleport to okay well apparently <laughs> god I hope official is not this glitchy but uh, somehow our crab teleported to another location so I'm just gonna run down here and kill everything till I find one 
Actually, I'm probably going to just cut out that whole encounter. Alright, we got SA-64. Let's see if we can hit him. Okay, let's try this design. Is Spino gonna give us grief? Hopefully not. Knocked him clean out of the trap. Well, I hate to do this to you guys, but... Oh, man. I am so tired of this. I'm gonna use the wall. Trap actually does work if you can. Oh, come on, Pariser. Quit moving. There you go, just float. Oh, my God. Kill him, aren't I? Are we even doing any torpor? <laughs> yep, one more hit. That will kill him. He's still hitting, that's good. Maybe I can feed him. Come here, piranhas. Piranhas, where the F you going? What the hell, Piranha? Come here. There we go. Did he eat? I think he did. I think I need more fish. Carno, seriously. There we go. Fill up. I just need one more hit on you, I think. And there's two hits worth. Shit, now I think I need three hits. Now let's give it a shot. <laughs> oh, I hate my life. Come here, Manta. I'm wearing flak, dude. You want some of this? Oh, 
Oh my god, not again. Fucking teleporting crab. Oh man, I can't believe this. Uh, welcome back. We're, uh... <laughs> I'll tell you what. You guys on official have got it rough. Uh, I've been running all over the place, killing these guys, trapping them, knocking them out of the trap, like this one looks like he's about to get knocked out. Oh my god, he's finally down. I've, uh... You know, the trap's got some problems. It's not perfect. Uh, but you know what? That's what you get on official. It works. Uh, as you can see, I knocked out this one. I've knocked out three or four crabs so far with it. Sometimes they glitch through the roof. Sometimes they teleport to a faraway land. We don't know where they went. Uh, sometimes I just kill them because I'm a bad shot. I don't know. But uh, with enough practice, you might get good at it. And of course, I left my kibble on the Pariser, which I, it is no easy feat getting back over there. Of course, I have my taming speed on 70x, <laughs> because man, Oh my god, oh good, he's still there. I thought he teleported again. Let me access it, Pariser. Quit moving around, you dick! Oh man, I am so frustrated today. This has been the worst. There. Tame out. My frame rate is worse than it is on the server I play on. On solo. Oh, God, what a nightmare. But, you know, there's there's what I finally went with was... Uh, I don't know if I recorded this during the process, but I put a ceiling at the back of the top hatch frame and then ran two walls down to sort of hold the guy down a little. You know, I could probably go two more walls down. That would leave a... Let me see if that's... Yeah, that'd, that'd leave enough room to hit him, because if he stayed down, then you would be hitting from there to there. I don't know, two walls down is better, so you can shoot out farther. Nightmare. There you go, Nightmare. I have walked so far, lugging this thing around. Are you gonna come now? Oh wait, is this the blue zone? Holy crap, I took a wrong turn down the wrong creek. You know, I actually tamed a 300 here on my other server. And a level eight. <laughs> well, I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna leave this right here because I'm never coming back here again. And so if you enjoyed the video, please go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. Uh, share the video with anybody that you think can use it. Maybe you'll come up with a better plan than mine, because I'll tell you what, this is kind of buggy, but hey, that's official. And I think we did pretty dang good. So, as always, thanks for visiting, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.